Hey everyone, it's Robert. So I've gotten a ton of requests to finally do Haven. This is the last map of the Yodu lineup series that I have to do. I've done all the maps prior to this, so if you haven't seen them yet, be sure to check them out after this video. Because this is the last video of the series, I'd hate to lose some of you guys that have been watching my past couple of videos with these Yodu lineups. So be sure to stick around and subscribe. I'd love to see you guys here more often. It's free. You can always change your mind. I stream almost every single day on my Twitch account, twitch.tv slash Robert Rayhart underscore, playing some Yodu, showing you guys some of these lineups that I do on all these different maps, playing a lot of other agents as well. So if you're interested in that, all the links will be down in the description below i hope to see some of you guys there as you throw your teleporter out and the enemy gets close to it they can see it and they can also hear it and they can shoot it and destroy it so as you're throwing your teleporter out you're going to want to throw some flash bangs and defend it maybe ask for a couple smokes from your teammates to defend it as well i can't stress enough how important it is to defend your teleporter as it's going out otherwise the enemies are going to find it and they're just going to sit on it and camp it and wait for you to come out but keep that in mind as you're using some of these lineups in your own games so this first lineup i have it's going to get you from this corner all the way to the back. I like it a lot because you don't actually have to peek in order to throw it out. Get as deep as you can into this corner. And then you see this like stone coming up into the sky here. Just aim just to the right of the corner of this stone. Just where your crosshair is barely not touching it. And then throw it out. And get you back into the corner of Seaside. This next one is probably my favorite one throughout the entire map. All you have to do is flash your cross, get into this corner, and it's going to get you from this corner all the way to the enemy spawn. Now, by the time it gets there, your teleport doesn't have much time, so just pay attention to that as you're using it. But you just want to get in this corner here, aim along the edge of this cubby wall. It's not that precise. It's pretty easy to hit. Throw it out, and look where this goes. And for the most part, it's pretty safe, unless you have somebody playing logs. Get you all the way in. You, again, you can pop it at any time. But it gets here. You can TP in. Next, I wanted to go over a site. Now, a site's kind of a tricky one, because there's such a harsh angle here in short. And then also the problem is, as you throw out your teleporter long, it actually gets clipped and stopped on this wall right here. So... It's a little bit tricky to work with, but I have a few lineups that I want to show you guys anyways. This first one's going to get you from this plant. Just go as far into the plant corner as you can. And then you're going to want to aim at this dark brick here on the wall. And it's going to get you from here all the way into under heaven right by this box. A little vulnerable, but if you have smokes and flashes, again, nothing you can't handle. Time to jump. Throw it out. And surprisingly, from that angle, it gets past this clip on the wall. It took, a, it took a while to get that lined up, but... It gets you right here under heaven. This next one I like as well, because a lot of times when people are holding A, they're usually holding it from heaven, or they're holding this box, like holding this angle like this. And this one's going to get you into this corner here. So you can actually TP to this corner and then swing out and look at them box. They're not going to expect you to be on that corner right there, so you usually have the jump going into it. But you're going to stand up against this plant, just like the last one, and then aim just along this door frame here. Pretty easy to hit. It's going to go all the way down. And again, unless they're standing like right here, they're not going to see the TP, so you should be safe. TP in. This next one I like a lot. You can play a lot of mind games with it. The scenario that I like to use it the most in is let's say the bomb is planted in default, right? And now you're playing long. I like to sit up in this brick area and then throw the teleporter out. It's gonna get you from here all the way under hell. What you wanna do is just aim it. You see this small brick in the wall here? Just aim just underneath it about the middle. Throw it out, it's gonna go onto hell. And then I like to drop some like footsteps. Decoy. And then as it's going in, you know, maybe like flash your teleporter in, let them know you're playing long, right? Like really commit to it. Hit your footsteps, TP heaven. They think you're playing long still. Really mess with them. This next one's going to get you from this corner here all the way into CT spawn. Yeah. And it's really good if you guys are doing like a hard A push and you want to catch the people rotating from C off guard. You just want to get in this corner here. And you see on the wall, right where like it starts to arch up, right? Like right in the middle of the arch. Just throw your teleporter out. It's going to go through sight. You're going to want to do this one quick again. You want to catch the rotators before they can 
get there. It's gonna go all the way into their spawn. And now you're right here ready to catch the rotators. This next one is not that useful, but it is possible. And I wanted to share the information with you guys anyways, in case the situation arises where you can use it. So it's gonna get you from short all the way into hell here. The reason why I say it's not that useful is because if you're this far up, usually the guy playing short is gonna know you're here anyways. But you know, maybe you can use it like in a post plant situation, whatever you wanna do, you can get creative. So just get in this corner here and then aim it along about this area on the wall. It's not that precise. Throw it out. It's gonna go through sight and get you deep into hell. So when it comes to attacking on B site, there's not too much you can do. It's pretty limited. And mainly because of the clip in the wall here and the clip in the wall here. It prevents it from going really anywhere but like the back of B site. And even then, your teleporter stops in the wall about here at max distance. So there's no lineups that can get you to A-Link or into C-Link, at least none that I've found. And I've been on the map for about two hours now looking for different lineups for it. There is one pretty nice play. If you can get up this close that I wanted to show you guys though, maybe you can get like a, a Brim or Omen Smoke down here, walk up, get into this corner. On the ground here, on this brown trim, there's like a crack in the wall. Just aim your teleporter at this crack and it's gonna get you from here about halfway up heaven stairs so it's a really nice flank if you can pull it off and you can catch the people before they see it on a link just throw it at this crack like i said it's gonna go through and get you into heaven when it comes to teleport lineups and playing through garage there's not a lot of teleport lineups you can do and mainly because let me show you really quick like, so you can see it gets stuck like on this brown trim area for some reason. So there's, it's not actually possible for it to get out onto C site, at least coming from the grass area. So garage is kind of a dead zone when it comes to teleport lineups, but that's not to say that Yodu is bad at playing garage. You know, he is an entry fragger, so you can get a nice flash off, and, you know, peek in and do your thing. Just when it comes to actual lineups with his gate crash ability, I wouldn't worry too much about it. All right, let's get started with defense now. I think you guys are really going to like some of these defensive lineups. Now, I know we just talked about attacking into garage, but there is one for defense that I like a lot. And what you want to do is just get up along these stairs here and you see this X on the wall. If you just aim underneath this X or at the X itself, you can throw it out here and it's going to go through, hit this box and get you into this area. And so the people grass, as long as they're flashed once like this, right as it's coming out, you can actually TP here and they're not gonna have any idea. You can also have your teammates smoke mid window for you. What you can actually do is throw out a second flash, swing it, and this will usually get you a kill or two. There's another play you can do from garage that gets you from garage all the way into their spawn. It's a bit risky. If there's anybody playing grass, they're definitely gonna see your teleporter. So just be careful while doing this, but you can hop on the first step here and then aim at the white diamond at the top of like this red design here right in the middle of this white diamond and throw your teleporter out and look where this one goes this one's pretty cool it's gonna go through and get all the way into their spawn see long there's two spots your orb can go there's one that can go into cubby and this, that's a pretty obvious play. Literally just throw it up against this wall in any aspect. You're just gonna go down, hit this staircase and go up. And the other one you would just aim at this wall and it's gonna go down into this corner here. But I wouldn't really bank on those two plays because a lot of the times when people are pushing C, they check these corners. If you are certain that they're not gonna be playing C at all this round, you're kind of just anchoring here just in case they do. You can hold C, throw your teleporter up against this wall somewhere. You know, just sit around maybe, make sure they're not pushing C. This one's gonna go all the way into your own spawn. So the second you're sitting here, they're like, oh, they're pushing A, they're pushing A. You TP, and now you're right here ready to play with your team on A site. So when it comes to defending B, there's actually two plays that I have for you guys. You're gonna wanna get a smoke on window for both of them. Otherwise, these can be more risky than they already are because they're already pretty risky plays as it is. But one that I like is you get a smoke down the window, like I said, throw it up against this wall anywhere. And you're gonna want two flashes for this. You flash the first one as it's entering in. 
and then flash a second time. TP, that's going to get you to the back of grass here. And as they're getting flashed from your second flash, you can usually get a kill or two. Really make sure you have two flashes while doing this play. Another one you can do that seems a little obvious, but surprisingly, it still works in a lot of matches for some reason. You can throw your teleporter out here. Again, you're going to want the smoke window for sure. The people in grass won't be able to hear or see your teleporter from there. If you really want, you can throw out a flashbang. Again, you have the smoke window. You just instantly crouch, get behind the staircase. And you can usually get like a pick or two if there's somebody playing grass. Just be careful because although they don't hear your teleporter as it's going out, they can hear you TP to it. So this next one is kind of unique, but I like this play a lot if you have the mechanics for it. So let's say you're pushing into heaven. Maybe it's a retake and the bomb is down. A lot of times the enemy is going to smoke you, yeah. right? And in this case, the smoke is kind of doing you a favor. But let's pretend for this sake that it's not. So with his teleporter, you can't actually throw it out of window on this windowsill anywhere. You can throw it down here, but it just gets stopped here. But if you actually jump on the windowsill itself, you can throw it down on the ground wherever you want. So I can throw it into this corner. I can throw it down into a long. And I don't think a lot of people know that yet. And it requires a bit of mechanics, but what you wanna do is throw your first flash out. And then as your first flash is going, hop on this windowsill, turn, throw it out that way, hop in this corner, throw your second flash out, TP, and then deal with the guys on site. Another A defensive play I have for you guys, it's kind of like a all or nothing play because once you commit to it, you're committed to it, there's no way out. You're either gonna frag out or you're gonna die. You definitely wanna drop some footsteps before you do it in my opinion. Throw your teleporter anywhere along this wall and it's gonna get you into this A lobby corner. So if you hear the pushing out of A, what you can do is drop some footsteps, throw out your flash, TP to it, and frag out. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I stream every single day on my Twitch account, twitch.tv slash Robert underscore if you want to come through. This is the final video to the Yodu teleport lineup series that I have going. I hope you guys have enjoyed all the videos so far. All the rest of them will be linked down in the description below if you haven't seen them yet. Be sure to drop a like if you guys enjoyed and also consider subscribing. Like I said, even though this is the end of this series here, I'm going to be making a ton of Valorant content that I'm sure you guys will enjoy. I'd love to see you guys stick around and start building this community with me. It's been a lot of fun so far and I've gotten a lot of positive feedback. I think even like Dot Esports wrote an article on one of my lineups. So if there's any other videos you guys want me to make, you can leave a comment down below. So hopefully I see some of you guys in my streams and in my future videos. That's going to do it for me. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.